Hi and welcome back everyone. I thought it was time to do an update on the worms. So let's have a look in the bins and see what's going on. We'll have a look at this bin first. You see it's still quite wet in here, uh, too wet, but still loads and loads of worms. Um, they're still quite happy in here, but yeah, it's, it's a bit too wet for my liking. So yeah, I need to do something about that. I think the mistake I made is not putting drainage holes in the bottom. So I might even do that today, but I think that's the problem here that we have. But you can see here, loads and loads of worms. They really do like sweet corn, don't they? So let's have a look at the other bin. I've been feeding this bin quite a lot. We can see I'm mainly focusing on this side. So let's take a look under all this and see what's happening. Lots of worms. The, uh, the bin isn't even close to as wet as the other bin. But have a look at that. That is, that's an old avocado. So they really do like those. Um, and then I've had a few pears that have fallen off my tree and I've thrown that in here and they don't seem to mind those as well. I thought it might make it a little bit too acidic in here, but it seems to be going okay. Here's a pear that's just been taken over by some worms. Yeah, loads and loads of worms in this bin. This bin's doing very well. Let's have a look on this side over here. I tried throwing an onion in here just to see what it would do. Obviously that's one of the things you recommended not to put in a worm bin, but the worms don't seem to be having too much of a problem with it. Uh, the slugs are definitely having a go at it, you can see there. But the worms aren't moving away from this, and there's a, a few worms actually climbing inside of it. I think as it breaks down a little bit more, they'll carry on eating it. As you see, far less worms on this side Actually, there's still quite a few worms, but far less worms than on the other side. I'm trying to get them all to migrate over to that side so that I can harvest the, the compost over here. You can see this is actually really nice and fluffy. I did worry it would be too dry, but the worms certainly aren't complaining. That's it. Just a nice quick update on the worms. In the next video, I'm going to show you how I harvest my compost and how you can store it because obviously it's coming into winter in the next couple of months and I'm not going to need the compost. I need to be able to store it until next season. So I'll show you how to do that in the next video. But thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.